walking around in the rain. Yes, it worked. Hopeful. Sarah, you okay? Hopeful. It's nothing. I'm fine, really. Just tired, I guess. Hmm. Right. Somehow I kind of doubt it's nothing. We unraveled the paradox, and continued on to another time, another place. But, why had these gates appeared? Who had tangled the timelines, and for what purpose? We still didn't know. Why am I able to fix these temporal anomalies? Bend monsters to my will? Why do I have this power at all? I'll keep traveling with Noel. Knowing that we'll find you eventually. So Lightning, if you're watching, do what you can to guide us to your side. I hope we land right in the place where Lightning is waiting. Where do you think we'll end up this time? The future? The past? I have no idea. With all this jumping back and forth, I'm not sure I know which is which anymore. <laughs> but the past is what makes us who we are. Defines us as people. The future that we're aiming for, that's the thing we can change. No matter how bad things have been, without that past, I wouldn't be who I am now. That makes sense. So Sarah, you shouldn't feel like you're wasting your time. Even if we don't arrive in Valhalla, there's still value in every path we take. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> but hey, I won't complain if we do end up there. All this running around is exhausting. <laughs> hey, make up your mind. <laughs> Just be honest with yourself. If you are, you'll be sure to arrive in the future you want. Sarah, forgive me. That was a past you never should have had to deal with. But now, because of your courage, the timelines have one less knot to unravel. If I could, I would thank you for what you have accomplished. But I can't. Not just yet. Human society continues to develop, 
machines once run by the Fal C are now powered by human technology. Driving the progress is the Academy, which has grown to take a leading role in affairs of state. Under its young leader, the Academy is working to solve the paradoxes that warp the surrounding space-time. At the heart of the distortions is the Yasha's Massif, its skies darkened by a perpetual eclipse. People always say, the future will be better. They believe the hardships of the present fade with the passage of time. And so we hope, waiting for a future brighter than today. But Sarah, remember this. As you walk towards a brighter tomorrow, you have to look back to your past. The path you have walked to reach the here and now will give you the courage you need to hope. It's so dark. In ancient times, the Fal Sea devoured the light, darkness cloaked the sky, and the Earth knew only night. This must be the Eclipse. You know what this is? They said 500 years ago, a massive Fal Sea appeared. For a while, it blotted out the sun and turned everything dark. If that happened 500 years in your past, then this must be 200 years in my future. Right. But something's wrong. Look, the eclipse is only affecting this small area. That shouldn't be possible. Okay, so you're saying this could be a paradox? That's what I'm saying. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> This reminds me of stories we heard, that there- figure that out. We were more or less locked up inside Cocoon. We never had much opportunity to learn about the world below us. Our scientists have only just begun to study the mysteries of Grand Pulse. Are you here to observe the facility? I can answer any questions you might have. Ah, yeah, perfect. Uh, I do have some questions. Where are we? And what year is it? Wait, you can't just... Uh, what? No. I'm just... Mm. Yasha's Massif. 
10 AF, sir. 10 AF? Cool. So nowhere near 200 years. I must say, this is the first time anyone asked me what year it was. I don't suppose you happen to be time travelers? Well, Koopa? Ah, yes, I almost forgot. I'm supposed to hand out this map. Take it, it's free. disappearance is no need for panic. It's our job as scientists to figure out what's behind this mystery. The conservatives who still believe in the ways of Cocoon must be unhappy with the Academy. recommend walking along the path of the searchlight. Most monsters hate light and will do anything to avoid it.